Israel is, by many measures, the, the country relative to its population that's done the most to contribute to the technology revolution. Now, when you look at the NASDAQ, companies are listed from around the world. There's one country, though, that truly stands out, and that is Israel. If you go to the Middle East looking for oil, you don't need to stop in Israel. <laughs> but if you go looking for brains, for energy, for integrity, you know, it's the only stop you need to make in the Middle East. For over 60 years, Israel has been at war, the target of terrorist attacks, and boycotted by many of her neighbors. Yet somehow, during this same time, she has built a nation, transformed an arid wasteland into an agricultural miracle, and evolved into one of the most technologically innovative countries in the world. How did a nation of seven million manage this transformation? Mayor Brand runs Google's Israel operation. The foundation of Israel itself could be seen as an as a entrepreneurial project. Uh, the pioneers who came to build Israel from scratch, they are real entrepreneurs. They took a huge risk. They came to a place that doesn't have much natural resources, that there are a lot of threats from the outside. But they still had a great vision in building a successful country, which means that from the foundation of this country, people were already experienced in risk-taking. As president of one of Israel's premier science research institutions, Daniel Zajman thinks part of the explanation is deeply embedded in Jewish culture. We are allowed to ask questions. We are allowed to discuss it. This is very unique, in fact, in the Jewish religion. A willingness to challenge conventional wisdom distinguishes Israel's approach to science. For many scientists, what is on the paper and has been published must be the truth. For an Israeli scientist, what has been published is something what might still question and maybe push further. Israel has this intense penchant for constantly questioning and debating and challenging, which is essential for any innovation-based economy. Dan Senor is co-author of Startup Nation, Israel's Economic Miracle. Some of the factors that have been key to Israel's economic success, the role of the military, almost every single Israeli goes through a leadership experience at a very young age. They're taught at age 18, 19, 20 years old what it means to lead, what it means to improvise, what it means to be entrepreneurial, albeit out in the battlefield. Civilian R&D spending. Israel spends the highest percentage of its economy compared to any country in the world on R&D. Israel has cutting-edge policies on immigration and assimilation. There are over 70 nationalities represented in Israel. The rapid integration of these immigrants through an aggressive Hebrew language immersion program has ensured they participate in Israel's innovation. If you look at the Soviet wave of immigration, 750,000, tens of thousands of those had these remarkable degrees in mathematics, in science. It was just a huge influx of technological talent. This talent has fueled more startups than anywhere outside the Silicon Valley, bringing the world's leading corporations to Israel for their top R&D talent. And this economic engine has in turn strengthened the young nation. If you describe Zionism as having a prosperous, strong Jewish state in Israel, obviously the high-tech sector goes hand-in-hand hand with that. But Israel isn't just innovating for its own ends. A lot of the innovation that comes out from Israel changes the lives of people all over the world. Uh, I think that uh, the time where we could export oranges is basically gone because if you really look at what we can do here and what we can export, then it's basically knowledge whether it's in irrigation and saving water, smart use of energy, space investigation, nanotechnology, green technology. The world has a lot to learn from Israel, especially at a time when there is so much yearning for an innovation-based economic strategy. For me, Zionism is not only about the prosperity of Jewish people in Israel, but also Jewish people bringing more prosperity to the world.